I'm Chad Eikoff. I am the director and creator of The Jolliest Elf and also the director of The Elf on the Shelf, an elf story, which went on to incredible success that we, of course, all wished for but never imagined it would blow up to this level that it did. When I was making an elf story, the goal was definitely to create a classic that could stand the test of time. Traditionally in animation, you will only create what is gonna be seen in the camera. I approached it different and created the entire North Pole and then we went into the North Pole and staged our scenes. So having done that, it really whet my appetite to like, okay, if I'm in the environment, how can I actually capture live performances? If I could do that, then there's all kinds of cool new shows that we could set here at the North Pole or in any environment. But I hadn't really seen the process all put together in the way that it would need to be in order to do this and maintain the classic animation style. As time has unfolded, there's more and more technology, things that we were testing at Trick 3D, things that I was seeing other studios doing. I had this idea of bringing the Jolliest Elf, which is the North Pole's top competition show, to the entire world. And now all the parts of the technology are there, but I really had to combine them in a new way to make that possible. So once I decided, yes, I'm gonna go for it, we're just gonna create from scratch this whole process, there were three things that I really had to target. One, I needed real-time character animation, live happening with fully final renders. Two, I had to move fast with a small team, keeping it very nimble because we didn't really even know exactly what kind of team I was gonna need. A lot of it I was gonna have to figure out on my own and then find somebody to help with. And then three, it had to look great. You don't need to know it's real time. You don't need to know that it's fast and nimble or whatever. You just need to see animation happening in a way that wasn't ever possible before. You would just recognize it. These are characters that are performing live right now. So last year we did it. After a year of lots of trial and error, working with some great, great team members and partners that came on board to help make this vision a reality. We made The Jolliest Elf, season one. 12 episodes of these 10 new songs that were performed by characters live at the North Pole as a reality show, and everyone could vote for their favorite. They did, and next year we'll be doing another season, season two, and it's gonna have even more songs and I'm exploring even more ways to do this animation. So I'm gonna be releasing a lot of what we learned and put in place over last year so that I can bring more voices in, more talent into the process for our show, for other people's shows, and really start to create a whole new kind of animation. So I'll see you later this year at the North Pole. <laughs>